People come here from the countryside to advance in their lives. What we're trying to do is we're trying to reach out the people, to people who got stuck. In this case, because they came down with the AIDS virus, um, HIV, and then they get sick, and they can't work anymore, they can't care for their family. So we're reaching out to their children to try to give them a, a helping hand up so that, so that they can continue to move forward can continue to make progress. Where our students come from is an area where no one cares. Is an area where no one bothers what is happening with their life. And uh, when they come from school, they go back to the same environment. So what we do is just try to make a difference between what they have here and what might be at home. Now you are not learning in an environment that is full of mud, is it? <laughs> you are learning in an environment where there is no noise, is it? Yeah. You are learning in an environment where people don't disturb you, is that true? Yeah. Even if we are from the grounds, that is, we, are, we might be um, rejected in the society. We can be people in the future through this secondary education that we are getting in St. Alicia's High School. Today, here I am, probably like 15 years after the death of my parents. They are guiding me. If this goes wrong, they'll always be guiding me. I think they are watching down and ensuring that the person they left down is never suffering. So they bring good things in my life, like St. Alicia's. I feel we are just like a family in our class, or in our school, actually. All of us have very good future ambitions, and we are optimistic that with the help we are being afforded, this dream will be a reality one day. In fact, they have started becoming a reality for the past graduates of this school. Some of us want to be doctors, lawyers, pilots. Our students are motivated, and what mostly motivates them is the future. The, their future prospects, which they feel that without education, which they get in Santa Rosa then, their future is doomed. So most of them are anxious to make their future better than the way it is now. Coming from a background that Santa Rosa students have come through, I have also gone through the same problems. I've been brought up by my own mother when my father passed on when I was young, and I've looked at the struggles that I've gone through. I've looked at the many people, I call them my salvation history, People that I long just to tell them thank you, but I can't see them because now they're gone. They're aged, some of them have left us. And I see the students now being able to go through what I've gone through, and now they're people, they can stand in front of people, share the experiences. So personally, it's very enriching for me. After finishing my primary education, I didn't have any hopes, but St. Aloysius has raised my hopes of becoming a person in the future through giving me high school education. That is probably after passing through this system of education, and I do well, probably I'll go to the university or to a college, such that I'll, I'll sustain myself in the future. If not for St. Al's, I could not have had the chance to, to get high school education. And uh, that would mean that I would only be maybe a primary school dropout or stuff like that. But now, here I am, uh, I have 
I'm going through my secondary school education and I'm assured that if I work hard and pass my exams, then I can go ahead for, for maybe, I could go to the university or maybe college. So, St. Al's is great. What has happened to us by the virtue of schooling here makes us part of a wider St. Aloysius community in the whole world. We value the shared values that bind us together. All things that we do as students, we do more, not as the margins, for the greater glory of God. Thank you. May God bless. One of the experiences I've had is people respecting them, seeing them having the potential and the capacity to be who they are now. When I visit the schools, those in colleges, when I visit their homes, there's a lot positive being shared by the people in the community. We're being very successful in, in giving a lot of hope to, um, to our students, but, but also to their families as well. Because here, if you can get Get one family member educated, that can make so much difference for the whole family because that, that person gets educated, gets a, a decent job, and then has some resources to help with the education of others. So it can really, the family can really move forward in that way.